Hello, and welcome to the first and maybe last, but probably not, anthropological study brought to you by Clown College. We've located one of the most mysterious and interesting creatures ever found. We've set up cameras all over in its environment so we can better understand this majestic creature. What we are talking about is bean. No, not that bean. These beans. Are they alive? Are they robots? Is it a new evolving life form that is still driven by some sort of basic need? Is it even a jelly bean? Let us see what our camera crew has picked up. Some of them have been in the same spot for months. We especially kind of sort of feel bad, but not feel bad for Kevin. Kevin is our aerial camera person. What a wonderful guy. Gets the best shots we've ever seen. But no one in the office really likes him. He's one of those microwave, a fish at work type person. You know, a take a shit with the door kind of open guy. Anyway, back to the beans. Our first encounter with these noble creatures brings us to what appears to be salmon ladders. This is very interesting behavior of land-dwelling creatures, all racing to the end for what appears to be what, what can only be assumed as the making of more beans. If you know what I mean, like, you, you know. <laughs> well, let's check in and see what fishy Kevin has for us. Well, what we have here, this is what appears to be an intelligence test. It appears to weed the non-intelligent by simple identifications of strange symbols. Yet there it is. A few beans fall to what appears to be a soup. This also seems to be one of the most hated tasks these beans are put through. Thank you, Kevin, for the marvelous shots. Some of these were the best we've ever had. Too bad you have no sense of smell because who microwaves fish, Kevin, at work? <sighs> Samantha is buzzing in right now. She has what appears to be these shots of, of beans attempting- Just cut to the shots, Jim! Okay, uh, th th this appears to be some sort of gravity test that only the swiftest and most balanced and clearly those who have a working knowledge of physics could have shot at mastery. Look at these beans in their confusion and lack of understanding of quantum mechanics. It really makes it hard for even the most capable ones to get through. The strongest don't always survive. So, what can we determine? Well, it is that these beans have one goal, to reach some sort of hat on top of what appears to be a shrine to their gods on top of a mountain. But should they fail on the way to the top of this mountain, they are severely punished by their gods. Their whole drive is to reach this pinnacle of their admiration of their gods, to be chosen. So what we have is a sort of higher thinking life form that only cares for reaching a hat that they believe their gods have bestowed. It is a floating hat, Bill. Right, Jim? Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> and now to Jeans for Beans. Jeans for Beans! <laughs> this week is featuring these items, the wacky whatever, these zany pants? Check out these hipster like tattoos, the ones that Gen Xers always dream of. Call now, the first 30 customers get their extra set of kudos, maybe even a crown. <laughs>